Radio. Welcome back to another episode on my channel. My name is Karate Mario, and today we are going to be looking at this Raycaster right here. Um, so, yeah, we made this in a previous episode, um, which was amazing, guys. Like, you gave me so much of a good res response to that video. Like, it's got 2,000 views or something on it, which is pretty good going. Um, so thank you, everybody. Um, but today I'm going to be showing you two little cool tips, um, which will help you improve this program. Um, so obviously, as you know, we did this last episode, um, or our last video on this, um, we have this little guy who's moving around our maze, um, and yeah, it just converts it from 2D to 3D. Um, so, first thing, you'll notice if we get this up on screen here, there's this black line in the background, um, or dark brown, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, that's there because it's rendering every single wall, no matter how far away it is. Um, so one thing we can do to stop that is just cover all it up with a zero. Um, if ray, if not ray equals zero, that's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. <laughs> um, if not ray equals zero, then yeah, it just hides those walls so you can't see them until until you get right up close to them. Um, which is just you know, it's a bit it's a bit more realistic. Um, because, I mean, beforehand it was a bit, sort of, rubbish, being the fact that you could just, like, see everywhere in front of you, so we don't want that. Um, one thing I forgot to mention last time is that you can obviously change these up if you want your player to move a bit faster, so let's just, let's just do that a bit now. Um, so now you can see I walk forwards a lot faster. Um, and yeah, that's just one of the things that you can do, um, but the final thing is strafing. Now, I've been requested to do strafing, um, so yeah, I'm implementing that now for you guys, um, and basically, it's really simple. All you need to do is this A here, because it would you'd normally be turning to face left, you switch that to the left arrow, and D to the right arrow. So, to turn left and right, now you need to use the arrow keys. Um, which shouldn't be too hard. Um, but then here we have the new A and D commands. So if the key A is pressed, basically your little guy, if he was facing up north, he would turn east or west, um, move that way, and then face north again. So that's how this works. So we just have both of these together. We'll plop them on down over there. And now, as you'll see, we can do something like this. So we can strafe left and right, we'll go forwards, I'm actually going to set these to 2 as well, again you can alter all of these, um, don't alter the 90 degrees though, um, because that will mess things up quite a lot, um, and let's also change these to 10, let's just double everything, you know, make things a hell of a lot faster, um, 10, 10, I can't type as you can tell. 10, and 10. Okay, so if we do this again, we go on in here, we walk forwards, we can turn right, we can look right with the right key, and left with the left key, but if we want to go sideways, I'll click D, and look, we're walking over sideways, and we're walking forwards again, walking sideways, Turn around on the spot, um, and yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it all working. Um, I really hope that you've enjoyed this. Um, it's a quick, it was a quick video. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys these few tips, um, and I really hope you enjoyed it. So thank you everybody very much for watching this, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye. 